you. All right, so that's my little demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I'd be happy to help out. And good luck making your slides. Oh, I guess I need to tell how I made the slides. I, I get a little nervous presenting. All right, so let's go back out. Do, 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 do. Oh, I bought the clip art on uh, TPT. Um, you can get a special license as well. I buy a lot from P4 um, clip arts and um, she had a pretty reasonable um, license. It was like $15 to have um, license to, to take all the clip art that you purchased before and reintegrate it into digital lessons. All right, um, let's see. All right, so we're gonna go back out and I'm gonna show you. Boop, boop, boop. If you click on this, you'll see slide number nine. So I'm linking it. All right, you'll see slide number 13 for an incorrect slide. And back to slide number 13 for an incorrect. That will go to slide number 13, which is a try again slide. All right, so um, if you get the answer correct, to the left of the bowl, it will go to slide number nine, which says, good job, next question. So with this activity, um, the most arduous part of this is kind of like a little tedious. You have to make a slide to link for each one. And um, so what I had to do is I had to create like a little visual graphic organizer because I'm a little ADHD. And so I was like trying to remember which slides I connected with which. So I made a little, um, I wrote down the slide and then I put an arrow uh, with a, like a little smiley face for got it to that slide. And then if they didn't get it, then I would put the number of the slide because that helped me organize it. And um, so um, I have like millions of notes. All right, <laughs> I take notes throughout the day. 